Whoa, what the heck happened to my... You're invisible, that's not cool. There we go. Hold on. Yes, because that was the image that I had up, because that's the way this goes, I guess. Okay, so now it looks like you're all back. Awesome, I'm totally not gonna cut that in the VOD because I will forget to do so. Um, so here's where you're at right now. Now, um, you, you've made a few twists and turns, and I know that no, it, you don't have a cartographer with you. The cartographer is out sitting in a forest camp somewhere. Um, but uh, I, I just, bearing in mind, you've taken a couple of twists and turns, and now you're in a cavern that has uh, spored all over lore twice now. Um, what? <laughs> What do we do now? Um, we're all kind of scattered at the moment. I see uh, Swoops is down there, and what what are we what are we doing at this point, friends? Uh, on the opposite side of the room you're in, I'm going to go ahead and move you. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there is another space down there, but it's like, it's it's clearly a sealed off spot. Like, it's just spores and spores. Yeah, that, that, that south passage is a non-starter. Like, the moment you look at it, you're like, oh, that's just way more of the crap that I have in my lungs growing right now. <laughs> as a treat yeah there doesn't seem to be anything more in there except more horribleness oh crap the desktop audio is still down none of them can hear you and there's nobody oh, in yeah. chat to tell me that sucks because <laughs> everything you just said was super funny and that I will be cutting out of the VOD damn <laughs> Damn, damn, damn. No. So we are now coming back. Again. Welcome back, oh, friends. Hello. We are Hi. now back and we are talking about spores and we totally did not just cut out like five minutes of content because your boy totally forgot to turn the desktop audio back on. That's not a thing that just happened. Um, so moving right <laughs> along. Yes, we have determined- Release the closed caption cut. We have we have determined <laughs> that deeper into the fungus room is not a good plan because there is only more fungus. Um, so um, let's see. Yeah. So uh, Calder, you are able to see that there is a passageway that continues to wind uh, southward. There is another one that sort of U turns and heads back north. On the oh. other hand, I got this cool sword, which I wipe off somewhere, and this cool helmet, which I shake, uh, in the direction of the spore room, <laughs> to uh, attempt to unspore it. If you start growing yellow puffballs, we make you stand in a bonfire until it goes away. I'm going to repeat that I'm that's just... one of my red, like my yellow triggers, that I don't like mold, so... <laughs> Fair enough. Let's move forward. <laughs> um, so down, uh, in that south area, it continues to wind around. Um, where are we heading? Are we continuing to go south? It looks like... I mean, I can send swoops to go see if this just, this one passage just circles all the way back. Oh, oh sure. Calder is attempting to out bad decisions. Me, how dare. <laughs> so, I'm yes. Just trying to oh, there it is. There's the good stuff. So, so I'm going to ask everyone to pause at this point because you're right. <laughs> Um, yes, Swoops is able to verify that, yes, that North Passage does loop back around to where you were before, so no point in exploring that one. Um, and then, yes, the moment Calder turns, I, I'm moving Meepo to a place, the moment Calder turns this corner, um, in fact, he's able to see uh, a lot. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure your field of vision is actually um, impeded at this point. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of box text. Box text, box text. This, box text, baby. 
this great cavern glimmers with faint phosphorescence. So you're able to see, like, with your dark vision, like, oh man, there's a whole ass glowing room over there. Um, and uh, the ceiling is, well, you can't really tell from here, so I'm not going to do that. But uh, there are definitely, like, bright flecks and gleaming stone formations that are visible in the distance. Uh, patches of strange fungus dot the floor, including capped stalks uh, standing as tall as humans and glowing puffballs a yard wide. So when you look in there, you see this like mythical fairyland almost. Um, but you're only getting a glimpse of it from where you're at. So you're not 100% sure that you just saw what you think you just saw, but like you definitely saw what you think you just saw. Uh, I will politely stop and wait for everyone to catch up. Okay, everyone else, please catch up. Gonna catch up to you. Or not. This not is the one time I, this is one time I think that Fantasy Grounds is really, really an excellent choice here because I love being able to 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 reveal this map to you one small bit at a time. It's it would be really unfortunate to to show you the whole map at once and then have you navigate it that way. So you're all yeah, you can't it's quite huge. directly move through things. Oh, sorry about that, Charlotte. I was meant to move Meepo. <laughs> so... Yeah, you... the map. Oh, uh, I yes. know. It, it did it to me, too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reshare. Yes? Yeah, no, it didn't disappear on me, but it was... I keep clicking the wrong button to move it. Yeah, me too. I keep forgetting that I have to use the mouse wheel to move it around rather than the... Solidarity. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, this is just the most gorgeous place you have seen. Uh, Calder, you are able to see all the way over to where there's a rise. And how well, Calder, give me a survival. Give me a survival. You're underground, so it's hard to tell. But oh, you're the only one that can see this. So you, you give me a survival uh, check. Well, it, well for, for Calder's sake, this is the first time he has... Like, even with the Goltias tree, this is the first time he's, like, his dark vision has, like, seen... Has an three. end. Usually it just hits a oh, wall. And also, I I'm... think you... Uh, M, would you be so kind? Do we have advantage? Do we have anything uh Oh, yeah, we queue? had advantage on that one. Go ahead and roll oh. that one more time, Jeff. Excellent. Just wanted to make sure that happened. Put a fan on because it's warm, and then it, it, it is. It's cold. it's it's warm here too. Um, uh, me so, and my sweater are perfectly happy. Thank you. <laughs> um. First off, I have some more box text. Box text. Um. But. So let's do the box text first. High ledges rise fifteen to twenty feet above the floor to the north. Um, south and west walls. Narrow passageways lead off to the north and south, uh, including the one you came down, and a flight of carved stone stairs. It says it descends, but from where you're at, it actually ascends. You can only barely see it at the edge of your vision. Uh, there are some stairs down there that ascend up to a ledge that go or out to the west, uh, to the left. And with the survival check you just gave me, you can tell that that is vaguely the direction of where you would have come down if you had taken that original south cave. Like, oh, okay. way at the very beginning when you had all those choices. Like, you, I look you around think, and, like, do some, like, spatial awareness and go, oh, okay, that's you, you think, yeah, you think, now you're not sure because your, your vision doesn't actually extend past the wall, but you're like, the cavern probably came down because you know that you're at a lower uh, elevation than you were. And again, with that survival roll, you're able to sort of kind of determine that that's probably yeah. connecting to the original spot. Yes. Mm. Okay. Um, and uh, that's all the box text. This place what do you do? Amazing. It's place yeah, it's it's amazing. massive. And it's when it, so I called this the Glitterheim like as a DM, but now the, the player, the characters get to see where the name came from. It looks like a field of stars. I will very stupidly walk out into the open. Absolutely. 
just roll initiative. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Shard looks like I don't get it. It's just another cave. Yes. <laughs> it's Shard in here, guys. What's the problem? <laughs> I'll take this. I'm 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 moving the enemies time. to a different spot because of the blatantness of the uh, the walking out, which is great, and I love it. And we are rolling initiative, friends. Yep. Just okay. trying to grab anything on my goddamn sheet. Come on. Ain't that a mood? Um. <laughs> so as you walk out, your your sickle goes. Holy shit! And you are unsurprised. As is wait. Nope. That wasn't that. I don't no, know how nobody's I grabbed within that. thirty feet of him right now. Did okay. So before before we before we uh, uh, adjudicate that, um, I will give everyone a chance to react because I didn't. Is anyone following Calder out as he begins to stupidly walk out into the starry night in front of him? I think Swoops is still on his uh, horns. A hundred percent. So go ahead and move Swoops out there. Like I get, take a second to get yourself to where you would be. I trust you all. You're all responsible gamers. Where would you be when well, Calder gets like, absolutely like... ambushed as he walks out, going, "Oh my God, this is the prettiest thing ever." Charlotte was waiting for an explanation of what was so great, so she's still standing where she is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like like i see i see clarion moving up and i feel like i i would have moved up with clarion yeah totally but in in a i'm dragging charlotte with me and do trying to do an explain as so we like go half totally movement. yeah like yeah. half movement. i think half I'm, movement like, is totally fair like, yeah, yeah like about to there okay. that seems about right i am now locking movement so that we can do it in rounds um, bum, bum, bum. I have the best initiative again, guys. <laughs> and so these very sneaky creatures, uh, unfortunately, because I gave you a stupidly overpowered uh, item, are unable to gain a surprise on you. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, reveal those right now. So a Grick looks like... Oh, Gricks? A Grick looks like this. They're gross. Oh, no. Yeah, like friend. that's a that's a good looking fella right there. If an uh, octopus had evolved on land, it's a girlfriend. There are a couple <laughs> of those that think that that the Calder is just the coolest. Like Calder <laughs> is walking out into this walking on star starshine. No, like like walking Starlight, on phosphorescent walking on fungus. Um, and uh, yeah, they want to eat. Calder's everything, probably his face first. So we're gonna start so with that. But and Clarion, before, before, don't get me DMCA'd. So before, uh, <laughs> before these things uh, begin to feed upon Calder, um, Clarion, you are able to see with the help of the sickle of warning that there are two of these like creatures unfolding. What do you do? Two of those creatures unfolding. Yeah, they're right there. Grick one and Grick two. It's like the cat in the hat, except a nightmare. God. So the I cat guess. in the hat. So the cat in the hat, yes. Specifically yeah. the Mike Myers version. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a good question. What am I going to do? Give me just a sec. I'll give you a sec. It's been a while. It's been a few weeks, but... It is going to be a limited time, just not, uh... Yes. Uh, can I use my, uh, message to call out? Well, you can... I mean, he would know, but, yeah, uh... You can call out, like, you know, he knows because of the sickle, right? You, you don't yeah, have to worry yeah, about yeah. warning Calder. Calder was already warned. He has a sickle of warning. Yeah, yeah, so, um... Oh God, I, I'm gonna, ooh. Now I'm gonna pressure you. Kasha hideous laughter. You're gonna make them laugh. Excellent, They're go for it. They're funny looking. They are pretty funny looking. They're a mouth with tentacles around the mouth. Who does that? Oh, I wonder oh, if this is a creature yeah. with an intelligence score of four or less isn't effective. Oh right, starfish do that. Oh, that's great. So uh, you're going to cast that, and we're going to find out if they have a, an intelligence of four or less in just a moment. Oh, yeah. So you go to cast it, and you find out, unfortunately, they don't get it. You make the best joke. Do you, do you have a joke? Do you have a joke about Grix on hand? I've never seen 
one before. It's I'm basically I'm basically riffing off octopus snakes. They don't get it. Yeah, there are there's some tentacle jokes in there, and they are they are I'm too sure. dumb to understand the mockery that you are levying in their in their direction, and uh, I've unfortunately, enough, I've seen enough Triton porn to know where this is going. <laughs> Clarion, um, up next, one of the Gricks, totally ignoring Clarion, because what even is that ape thing babbling about? Um, let's go eat this other ape thing that has horns, um, and we're going to move up, and we're going to multi-attack. Oh, wait. Um, oh, this is going to suck. So let's attack with tentacles. 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 Yeah. Uh, it will hit with cool. the tentacles. Uh, Go ahead. I will use my reaction to use my shield and make that a miss. Excellent. So you use shield, and instead of sticking on you, it sticks against the, the shadowy shield that you put up. Um, it's going to take... It, go, it, it goes for what is all by all accounts, a straight hit, and then hits something solid that was not there. And its multi-attack is only able... Um, to to continue if it hit that first one. So it is done with its turn. And uh, up next is Charlotte, who still doesn't uh, know why everyone's like, this is so beautiful. Uh, M, what's up? Well, Couple she's of things being fed real quick. by swoops. Hold on, M, what's up? Couple of things real quick. Um, Tasha's hideous laughter has a range of 30 feet. Oh, so no. I would suggest for uh, Clarion to have moved up. Um, secondly, the AC and spider climb effects that are on Charlotte and Calder might need to be changed because I don't think they're that still was currently there. more than eight hours ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, the next roll has a plus two to it. Although, leave also that AC good. there because I am going to use swoops to cast a touch spell of uh, mage armor onto Calder. <laughs> and as that magic travels through swoops, because Swoops is within 100 feet of me, I'm also going to put up my barrier because it's an abjuration spell. Um, so, so I, I get... My, my AC jumps from 12 to 17 to 20. Thank you, Em. Yeah. Um, and then I get my barrier in place, which is... Nope. Different number. Um, and then I am going to telepathically command Swoops to get the fuck out of there now <laughs> as I... A little worried about I, swoops there? 50. Like, fly up is what I'm telling. Get off of Calder's horns. Totally. That's my turn. So swoops will be 50... Yeah, Juan swoops turn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Alright, up next is Calder. Uh, cool. Asshole. <laughs> and, Definitely. Uh, Maybe, no, I, you think that's a mouth. You're not sure, but it might be. You're not sure. Uh, cool. Like, nope, 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 nope. Uh, are you taking the attack? Because it does uh, have its reaction. Uh, I'm going to do a disengage. Okay. my action to back the hell out. Done and done. Hydrate. Hydrate. Uh, this is uh, wine. Okay, I have, I have, I have Powerade. Uh, uh, and uh, let me think. It's what plants crave. God, that was a dated reference. <laughs> but we all got it though. <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking like that. That was my action disengage. Uh, it's a bonus action to drink a potion, right? Uh, no, it is an action action to drink a potion. I'm afraid. Because you have to uh, get it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay. No, I mean, the act of drinking a potion, even if it's in your hand already, is an action. Although, speaking of drinking, I think we get a, we have a hydrate in the chat. Yes, I, yeah. I drank some Powerade. I'm good. Uh, I am debating whether or not to expend the meta magic for a quicken spell. Five, four, three? Uh, yeah, it's worth it. All right, so you're going to quicken a spell. What are you doing? I'm gonna Maximilian's Earthen Grab. I love it. Like the uh, the Grick that took a swing at me. Okay, I think that's a saving throw. Uh, Go ahead no, and force actually, that. No, not the, not that one. The Grick one, the one that hasn't acted yet. Okay. Because if I could stop it from moving, that's great. Yeah, I agree. 
Oh man, action economy! Holy crap! Uh, I think you can force the uh, the save. Yes, I can. So let's go ahead and zoom in on the table. Okay, so it does succeed. Uh, what happens to it when it succeeds? It's uh, safe. Uh, Paramus so make a strength based saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 2d6 bludgeoning damage and is restrained. Uh, nothing happens if it. If it, uh, if it uh... Okay, so it, it manages to evade or, or otherwise overpower yeah. your earthen grasp. Okay, no problem. Uh, I see that um, uh, Swoops is moving. Is that a thing yeah, I should do now, or is that on his yeah. turn? No, because Swoops is on Calder right now. So Got Swoops it. needs to move with Calder. <laughs> 100%. Okay, I, that's why I checked in. Um, okay. All right, that, that was a waste of a, a, waste of a quick, quick and spot, but that's okay. It wasn't a waste. You shot your shot. Uh, <laughs> next is Grick 2, who I don't even know if they can... Grick 1. Oh, Grick, Grick 1, you're right. I, I'm a math teacher. I know numbers. I have the yeah. best numbers. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so it looks to me like it's either Meepo or it's Clarion. So let's do evens odds, friends. Um, uh, um, it's it's down to to uh, Jen or or me. So Jen, would you be so kind as to roll any die? And if it's even, you get targeted. And if it's odd, Meepo gets targeted. Meepo. That's a seven for Meepo. It's always Meepo. Why do the dice the always? Damage, okay, so we're gonna move up here and we're gonna attack Meepo, who does have his armor back on after the long rest. I didn't yes, we did specifically that. say that, but that is going to happen, yes. If we don't get a cost, the water it, yeah. <laughs> it does hit him, however, Oof. with its tentacle. Lucky. Oof. So it. This Grick, you saw what it looks like, with its horrible mouth tentacles, grabs Meepo by the face, pulls him in, and then bites the crap out of the area right below his neck, right here, like on the collarbone. No! no. Um, and we're gonna see if that actually does happen. Hold on. It definitely does happen, yes. Yikes. So, so it, 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 it bites a good solid chunk. Um, thankfully, most of the chunk was dead scales from the, uh, the previous burn that are still molting off, but still oh, Meepo great. is bleeding really badly. Up next is Swoops. Yeah, Swoops is gonna go uh, 25 feet up. And... Mm-hmm. Be calling out shots for me. That's he's gonna take the dodge. <laughs> Actually, that might pull something. Hold on. Ooh! Oh no! <laughs> How high is the ceiling? Just out okay. of curiosity. Fifty uh, feet tall. Yeah. It, it, so, so from up. twenty-five feet, if there were any, for example, sturges up there that were interested in tasty, tasty bats, but there <gasps> aren't here, thankfully, this time. All right. This time. <laughs> yet. This time, yet. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so Swoops goes up there, and Laura, it's your turn. Um, okay, so... Uh, okay, I am going to spend my action to summon my sword, because we were technically surprised for all intents and purposes here. Yeah, you, um, you knew it was yeah. coming, but you do still have to take the action to, to manifest the sword, well, yes. Technically, I was outside of the range of his um, alert thingy, so... Fair enough. So what do you got? Um, and I will, um, I'm going to cast Hexblade, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, bonus action Hexblade's Curse, uh, Grick number one. Mm -hmm. um, which I'm pulling up now. So you're going to curse I it? don't have like a, it, it's not a spell, it's just a side thing. Yeah. Um, so I'm just, I'm going to have that up in the corner. Um, and then I am going to move up to here um i'm not i'm not gonna be able to do much anymore like that's that's all of my actions um but yeah good stuff and by the way um a lot of this area and i haven't been uh really 
like enforcing it, but I will from here on out. It's it's a lot of it's difficult terrain. Um, like there are areas around the outside that are pretty clear, but once you start getting into the spots that are really dark and like rocky, it's as I said, it's 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 you know fungus that is as tall as your head and 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 three foot wide puffballs. Like this is a fairy garden underground, so okay. a lot of it's kind of tough or kind of tough to get through. Um, so the Greeks don't seem to have any problem with it though. So we're we're at fifteen foot movement speed. Um, only I'm gonna only say ah damn I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. There's a, a dark spot. I don't know if you can see it. It's yeah. okay. I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. I mean I'm down for like anywhere where there's like weird stuff on the map, which is basically everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's that simpler. Spot in the that's that's simpler. <laughs> and and any time player characters want to make things more difficult on themselves, I'm 100 percent on board with that. So yes, we'll go ahead and say that anything that looks like it has weird crap on the ground is difficult terrain. So you're at 15 or whatever movement, uh, unless you have a way around that. Um, so at the moment we are at lore. You moved there, so we're up to. I have to... moved. I have summoned my sword, and I put um, hexblade's curse on Grick One. I don't know if there's like a a custom effect we can put on that guy. Um, well, Meepo is about to take an attack, so what? The, remind me what the hurt, what the curse does. Okay, so Hexblade's curse is I get super cool bonuses to like smacking it around real, real, real good. Um, and when it dies, I get hit points back. Awesome. So we'll just we'll just uh, note that if he manages to do it, he pulls his short sword um and uh his 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 shield and goes ahead and attacks this this weird ass grick thing and it's it's not like meepo is is unaccustomed to fighting against weird monstrous things right that's kind of his thing so he's gonna go ahead and hopefully do well we'll see come on meepo um actions oh there it is he will absolutely hit okay, with his short sword. Nice. And he will deal a, a, a reasonably decent amount of damage, but um, the the Grick does sort of kind of partially resist the wound a little bit. Like his his sword doesn't quite doesn't quite penetrate uh, the way you would expect. You know, more accidentally or accidental innuendos. Shut up, Gail, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> um, that one was my fault. I should have seen that coming. I walked face first into that. So moving right the fuck along, um, Meepo is done with his turn. So we're going to move on to Clarion. Clarion, save me. What are you doing? Oh, God. Well, now I'm mad at Grick number one. You should be so... mad at all of the Gricks. Gricks suck. I'm definitely mad at all of the Gricks. With Grick wonder you number racist. one hurt the hell out of Meepo and the best boy. Uh yeah, Meepo also true. is best boy. Um Meepo is not looking good right now. Like Meepo no. is Meepo spends yeah. a lot of time on the edge of death, doesn't he? He really it's a level does. Below us. It might be more responsible to leave him behind. Don't you think player characters? No. Don't you think maybe it would be more responsible? Never mind, moving on. I mean <laughs> Hot here, foul mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I well, I'm going to do. Um, I would well, put up I'm going that to do one of my new Meepo. spells. First, I'm going to take a. Cause am I am I within the reaction distance of him? I guess is the question. Yes, you're you within are. the friend. Yeah. Um, and uh, to be clear, I just want to make sure. Jeff, was it Grick one or Grick two that that took its reaction on you? Do you remember? Uh, neither. I took the disengage. Oh right, you yeah. disengage. So yes, they, they the Grick will be able to take an attack on you if you if you back off. I wasn't gonna back off. I was gonna go forward. Uh, a couple Show me. of steps. I wanted to go right there. Why can't I move things around? Okay, there we go. That was weird. Yeah, that's fine. You are 100% allowed to move around um, enemies. Coolness. Without an issue. I'm going to cast Cloud of Daggers. Cloud of <laughs> I love Oh, that. nice. There's no save. There There's is no, no save. save. Do your damage. 
Uh, I think it's on the... S when it enters the spell's area for the first time or starts its turn there. It has entered the spell's area for the first time because the spell has just come up. So it will take eight points of damage. Um, it doesn't seem terribly bothered by that. Mm. Oh, I mean, you, you heard it. You, you might have, like, maybe cut off one of its four mouth tentacles. Whoa. And it stays there. It's just a cloud of daggers on that spot now. <laughs> yep, just a cloud of daggers on that spot. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and try to move everyone into a square because I've been yeah. really bad about that. So I'm just going to try to move people so that they're actually into squares. But you're moved down here because I know that you cast that in a way that it wouldn't cover Meepo. So yeah. So I it's, just, just, it's one five-foot square. Yeah, all good. Oh, it is just one five-foot square. Okay, never mind. I yep. thought it was. I thought it was like a, a sonic thing. Anyway, no, I just wanted to make sure, so I wanted to go down and cast totally. from here and not from like you know right next to me though. Grick too thinks Clarion looks really tasty. Oh, do I? Oh, <laughs> I feel so like the Gricks. By the way, don't seem to have the same issue with the terrain that that your humanoid legs do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take an attack with tentacles. No, well, I mean, yay, but no, I mean, this is Clarion, so. It does It does miss with the tentacles. Don't take us there. That's anime territory. That's not the kind of feeling we're going for. That's not the vibe of this game. Up next is yeah. Charlotte. Okay. As a bard, I disagree. Uh, so. You're surrounded by try, friends. I'm going to try a maneuver. I'm going to try to pull Meepo back. But will Meepo resist the grapple? Meepo the is question. almost dead, so the answer is yes. Is and and I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna cost you an action for that. But yeah, no, Meepo is not going to. Are you kidding me? This is Meepo, the defense paladin. He is not gonna let the the blind caster pull him back. No, absolutely yeah. not. He is, he is All the right. bulwark. Well then, fuck it. Moving up here, sword I like, first. I like any uh, plan that starts with the word or the words "fuck it." Yeah, sword first. So you move up, a burst of swords, success, also success. Damn it! And the sword burst go, is a cantrip. Yeah, and I yeah. go. Well, that didn't go to plan. <laughs> And the two Gricks are like, oh, there's this very, very lightly armored no person armor. standing right next to us, like, kind of oblivious? <laughs> Calder, it's your turn. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> uh... I'm trying to think of what I of what to do. I'll give you a little bit of time, but not uh, a lot. It's... All right. Uh, so, what do you got? I I think that my best bet here is to because uh, there there's just there. We're, we're, we're way too intermixed at the moment, so I can't do, like, broad damage. It's a nice or... little sort of reverse infinity sign at yeah. the moment. <laughs> you need an eight? Uh, Shut so up. I guess <laughs> it was prettier the way I said it. Uh, sure so thing, math I, professor. So I'm going to keep uh, up the pressure up on Grick 2, I guess, because mm -hmm. Grick 2 is the one that's threatening two casters versus the one that, you know, was attacking Meepo. Mm-hmm. What are you doing oh, with it? So it fails? Yeah, it fails. Uh, cool. It'll take some cold damage and will uh, be at disadvantage for its next... Uh, nice. It'll be at disadvantage for its next uh, attack. Is there a, an effect on your spell that you can apply to it? I'm trying to find it. I, I, it should. If you go Part to, like, uh, combat... Or there should be a... A button that you can switch between like like display and combat 
I mean, I'll, I can yeah. remember also, but if it's a thing we can do in FGA, it's we not, should. It's not showing me anything, it just shows me the save, but it's a listed effect of the spell. Gotcha. Okay, so it has disadvantage on its next attack. Mm -hmm. Up next is that very... No, Grick 1, never mind. Grick 1 is up next. Meepo is not looking great. Grick 1 is going to go ahead and attack Meepo. Does Grick 1 have a little bit of disadvantage now that he has to go through a cloud of draggers? No. Uh, he does start his turn in a cloud of daggers, so he does yes. take damage, right? Deal that damage, please. You're absolutely right. I don't think it'll kill it, but if it does, it'll be really good news for Meepo. Because it totally <laughs> just hit Meepo. So deal that damage. Did not kill it. So I'm going to deal some damage to Meepo. F for Meepo. Meepo is down, um, and with the multi-attack, I will take a beak attack as well. Just a death save. Two death saves. Assuming it hits. It does still have to hit. It hey! misses! It somehow it misses. With well, he fell on his shield. His shield fell on top of him. Couldn't tell what was shield, what was Meepo. I played, I played, I played the crit fumble sound, even though it technically wasn't, because one of those was a one. And honestly, how do you fail to hit someone who's already down? Yes, Meepo is down, but the bite somehow, yeah, probably went off, bit down on one of the the um, the dried off scales uh, once again. Managed to pull off uh, sort of a large chunk of scales, but all those scales were already dead from the burns that Meepo had previously uh, suffered. So that's what we're going to go with. And up next is Swoops, who I assume is still? Uh, probably going to come, still 25 feet up, probably going to come like over here to get a better view of things. Taking Good the stuff. dodge action. Yep. Yep. No problem. Up next is Lore. Um, I'm going to step in a Meepo square. Good stuff. And I'm going to take a solid, like, swing to take off this guy's face, if possible. Do it. Yeah. You do yeah. manage to hit it? Excellent. Deal some damage. I fucking will. Once again, you notice that your weapon is not dealing the damage that you would expect it to deal. Like, it's it's kind of like chopping into chopping into wood or stone. Yeah. From what I've noticed, uh, the damage on magical attacks appear to be fine, but non, but the non-magic attacks appear to be. Fine. This is considered magical damage. Um, in that case, you probably should have done that full damage. Um, it, it's one just it's because moment. It's, it's a summoned weapon. Yes, I'm going to go into really quick the actions. I can I can change the magic type if I need to. Yeah, under if you go into the the uh the the magnifying glass next to the attack. Yes. It says name great sword properties heavy two-handed comma magical. I will do that. And do that for for all your attacks and I will go ahead and add the extra 7 damage to that Grick, which I think will drop it, but I, I have to I have to double double check that. Yeah. yeah, that will drop that Grick. So you you do manage to kill it on that attack because you do have a magical weapon. Um yay hexblade. Um and then I get um like hit points back. <laughs> yes you do. Let's see I'm level four you I get eight hit points back. Day. So you get eight hit points back. So legitimately, like, what does this look like? This is the first time you have drained life from your opponents. What what does this look like? Um. Okay. So I I guess because I'm the one doing the murder here. So I would like the sword goes through, and then like the blood gets sucked like onto the sword. And so instead of like splattering, it it just like sucks onto the sword and then like gets absorbed into it. Um, we do have gray sight here, so like it looks gray, like a dark gray goes onto the dark gray sword, which is also well, the the sword is black, but the blood is blacker than black. So, and then it just like gets absorbed. 
and then I look better. I, I <laughs> like the idea that it has the blood gutter, like a lot of uh, of blades have, which isn't actually a blood gutter. It's actually just a way to make the the, the weapon lighter, but. Um, it also, in your case, is a reverse blood gutter, and I think that's a great thing. Like, I, I don't know, I'm getting blade vibes. Like the end of yeah, Blade yeah. where the, the, yeah. the, the blood was falling down. Again, I'm making old references, so. Yep. Um, so then with the rest of my movement, because I moved five feet, mm -hmm. I will move up to the middle here. Yep. Um, and I will be in the fucking way um i will thank you hi ben um i will as a bonus action cast hunter's mark on this excellent hunter's mark is a weird one i think you have to 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 hit it I yourself have to put it on it. myself before i attack it yeah 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 okay um after that is meepo who is just not having a great day right now a, um he okay. fails his first death save up next is Clarion. You have a Clarion. Grick right in front of you and a dying Meepo right behind you. What do you yeah. do? I, I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, cure wounds. Uh, uh, second level. Cure on... wounds requires touch. Are you gonna move out of the Grick's range and risk its wrath? Oh. Uh, um, you could healing I, word. Yes, I'm gonna do healing word. Yes. Um, Okay, healing word is a bonus action you can do from afar, so no problem. Okay. So yeah, so first I'm gonna do healing word because that's my bonus action. Um, Go ahead and uh, uh, throw that healing at Meepo. I'm okay. sure he'll appreciate it. I'm not ancient. Oh shit! I'm, I'm older than you. Hold on. I know. Hold on. Go Lore, ahead. you stepped through the Lore, you stepped through the cloud of daggers. I did step through the forward. cloud of daggers. Did you step through the cloud of daggers? Yep. Oh no! Because it was this square in front of Meepo. This is why I love having like responsible players because I would have let that go. But there's no save. You just take the. I mean, you just take the damage. No, I appreciate that a lot. I can't step around it. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I, I could have stepped around that. But yeah, there wasn't I, any reason you. that you would have had to step through it. Yeah. Let's let's go ahead and deal some damage. I feel like Lore isn't in a place where she would uh, necessarily. Well, care. I would definitely have seen the cloud of daggers for sure. I have seen you walk into worse recently, but I'm not going to yeah, tell you what your character would do. The things that I have walked into that were worse had cool shit in them. This didn't. This just had ouch. <laughs> very, very pointed ouch. Where where on the map would you be if you had done that thing? The exact same place. And you had the because movement to make it. Instead of going straight down, I would have gone um, a diagonal like that. Diagonal. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, um, if you want to yeah that's fine. It's fine. You're right. No problem. So you do not have to take the extra damage. And uh, right. Clarion, are you done? What else you got? I'm not done. No, I'm what else you got? I'm going to Elkabong the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Because I, I don't do have it. any other spell that I can do right now, so. Good boy. And if you have that hype emote. Huh? I said, and if you have that hype emote. Do it. Kabong so, it. All right. So, my lady the loot. Be aware of daggers. Okay, so I do this. I think I've got the right one uh, on him. No. Not even a little I bit. It. So close. Not even a little bit. You're like, I. this isn't intended for this purpose. Up next. Hey, the Grick. Which Crap. There are three of you. It does have disadvantage. All right. Um, uh, M, roll me a d6. One, two is Charlotte. Three, four is you. Uh, five, six is Clarion. Sorry, okay, Charlotte. so we're going to attack Charlotte. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm sure this will be fine. <laughs> I am, of course, experiencing lag. There we go. 
I and hit you. Disadvantage. Was that a disadvantage? No, I am going to roll again because I did not take into account the disadvantage. Thank you for reminding me. I will roll an eight, which misses. Okay, so the disadvantage from the frost, it can't quite get ah. past it and attack Charlotte. And that's all it's got uh, this round. Good stuff. Up next is Charlotte. You just got attacked by a horrible tentacle beak monster. What do you do? Um, well, I heard Laura step right next to me, so I know that I'm, and Swoops is calling out things, yep. so I know I'll have to step there to do that, and that'd be a dis- mm, it's not, it's a save, so I could do it. Yeah. Step All right. into the cloud of daggers! Oh, uh, that's behind us. I'm gonna acid splash this guy. Do it. Yes, splash. Uh, it succeeds and I don't do anything. I go, huh? Fuck. <laughs> you try. You say. try welcome so hard. Lower, welcome, welcome to the lower levels where magic spells aren't quite there yet. I'm not a. I'm not a DPS wizard. <laughs> Speaking of magic spells, Calder, what do you do? There is one Grick left alive. Uh, I mean, asleep. It, it, it's reasonably hurt. A single sleep skill could probably end it, but I don't, but I'm not going to bank that our, my buddies aren't hurt, so I could, and I'm not going to finagle it far away, so I'm just going to cast Frostbite on it again. Awesome. Go ahead and force that save. It fails horribly. Cool. Ah. Uh, it's at disadvantage and damage incoming. We're going to remember days like this with the max damage. We're going to remember days like this when you cast Frostbite like four times in a row and it does nothing. Just remember <laughs> the times when it was pivotal. Yeah. When it worked back in the day when we were yeah. childs. Is Swoops keeping on, keeping on. That's what I figured. <laughs> Up next is Lore. Yes. This Grick is so like distracted by by Calder's oh, nonsense. So distracted. It's like it's it's an underground creature, and it's just abruptly feeling freezing cold in places that make no sense to it. Yeah. Um. We're 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 gonna we're gonna put a sword in this thing. Do that thing. We're if gonna you put can. A, a very large sword in this thing. Point pointy um, end goes into the thing. You yeah. absolutely hit it. <laughs> Damn, you do deal. It's a... still saying partially resisted, though. It does say partially. But I don't know why. I don't know why either, but looking at the damage, hold on, let me check. Should yeah. Do 10 more. Yeah, it's, it's, it, that absolutely kills it. I don't know why okay. it still says partially damaged or partially resisted. That's a, I, I, I don't know. Um, but yes, you, you, with the damage you do, you absolutely, uh, uh, how do you want to do this? <laughs> We're gonna bisect it, um, like with the, like the beak. It's gonna the sword is gonna go into the oh. beak sideways, and it's just gonna like peel it off, like it's uh, like you know nice thin slice of salami. You're gonna you're gonna um, she... that was a kill bill thing, right? Where she like took out the top. Anyway, oh yes. no, I intend to like cut this thing so that there's two half half grixes. Amazing. Continuing with the early <laughs> like like you know, half of the beak, the top half and the bottom half of the beak also. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. So yeah, you you manage to take this thing down, and uh, you find yourself in a um. But first off, really quick, I have to do a thing really fast. Just gonna just gonna roll a d twenty. Um, swoops disappears again. I just. You know, because I was in contact with him and suddenly he's gone. Swoops. I'm gonna... Swoops is like, hey, there's a boom. And he's out. I'm just going to scream up <laughs> and point towards where Swoop was <laughs> to direct everyone else's attention up there. Attention diverted. Yeah, we look. There's a whole yeah, lot of like, really. There. There's a whole lot of really interesting looking rocks up there. Uh, give me some perception checks. It's perception check time. Oh, Unless yay. I can hear them, I'm not going to roll. <laughs> By the way, um, as an out-of-character aside, I'm only going to do this to you once. 
<laughs> so far. No, I'm only going to do this to you once. I, I, I'm going to just put yeah. my familiar in weird places. <laughs> That's 16 oh, no. for me. I'll, I'll target them sometimes. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> Calder, <laughs> Calder specifically, you are really sure for a second that there is someone standing right in front of you. But you know there isn't because you have dark vision and you can tell, you can look and you can see there is no one right in front of you. But for just a second, you get that, that you, you know that feeling if you have your eyes closed and there's a wall close to you? You, you get that feeling for just a moment, like there is someone right like a foot in front of your face, but you open your uh, eyes and you see there is no one there. But I'm also, but here's the thing. I'm also a Glacia and I also know that invisibility is a thing. So I think that on that basis alone, he would like with a physical attack would lash out at the thing in the space immediately in front of him. Make an attack with disadvantage, please. Uh, sure. Uh, for the first time, he will draw a his uh, the, the extremely or the extremely ornate dagger that he also that he also swiped from uh from the uh. Not the sickle, the dagger. Uh, the sickle that he retrieved from uh, uh, the son of the Citadel. So, with disadvantage, you say? Oh, so that was a 20 a, also. A 20 Too bad. Too but bad. Like so I'm going to give I, you the bomb anyway because that was excellent. But no, you're... Like if, you're if, if someone were physically in front of me, that would have, like... The person who was invisible is, like, leaning back going, shit. <laughs> yeah. You, you definitely, um, like... You, you, you swing your weapon out, and again, you look down, and there are no footprints. Um, and uh, I'm going to not put us into initiative or anything, because that's the end of the encounter. Unless someone else has some sort of blind sense. Well, looking at the person with the blind sense, but... <laughs> no, I mean, that's... Um, the bat's gone. The bat's gone. Yeah, um, did I get any chance to see that with my 17? Um, the thing is, no, and that's weird. Like, you think you should, you look and you see that Calder gets swung at by something, but you're like, there's, uh, there's, there's nothing there. It's, it's not just like, I didn't see what just happened. It's not one of those, it's too fast for the human eye to see things. It's, I see that Calder just got swiped at. He took a swipe at something else, and there is nothing there. Yeah. Uh, um, so I'm going to go over to Meepo, and I'm going to attempt to uh, help, uh, like, medicine, I guess. He'll he'll, like, he'll he'll accept the hand up at least. He's he's well, feeling. I mean, I want to like check him over to see if there's anything that I can do in a non-magical way. Well, are we still in? Um... We we're not in rounds. You can do whatever you want at this point. Then I'm going to cast cure wounds on him. So he, drop he... the cloud of daggers. <laughs> Please he... drop the cloud of daggers. <laughs> yeah, drop I'm gonna the, go cloud sit in the cloud of daggers. <laughs> <laughs> so so Laura. Seems like a nice. Laura's gonna check over Meepo, is gonna find that he's not like, I mean, he's hurt. This is more than half his HP, right? But he's not like in desperate straits. You've seen him in worse situations a lot of the time. And then uh, it looks like uh, Clarion is able to, to heal some of those wounds. He stands up and like, you can hear the bones knitting back together as he kind of, you know, works his shoulders and, and gets everything going. Um, with that uh, 13 medicine roll, you can tell that uh, Meepo's probably good to go after after the magic, thankfully. He would, yeah, not, I mean, have, he not... would, he would not have been able to, to really engage in more combat after this before that. I get that feeling. <laughs> um, I look at, I look at uh, Calder and I'm like, if you're done swinging at the air, do you want to continue fro frolicking through the, the fungus? <laughs> there was something in front of me. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure something... there was. Something killed Swoops. Is yes. Swoops down? Swoops is gone. 
He was up there, and I'm still pointing in the direction where he was. And now he's yeah. not. Hmm. That's not good. I mean, I'm down to take a, like, you know, an hour if you want to bring him back. Uh, preferably not surrounded by the fungusy stuff. This fungusy but, stuff, by the way, is not spitting spores on all of your faces. Yeah, um, oh, I don't nice. trust fungusy stuff in real life or in fake life. So let's, <laughs> we should move on. Uh... I'm going to call out, not super loud, but loud enough for someone within the vicinity of where Swoops was to hear in Primordial and then in Orc and then in Dwarven and then in Draconic. Okay. How loud are you saying this thing? Like, like loud enough to be heard within twenty feet. Okay. Not much. Not much a further than going. A, a, an elevated but conversational tone. Yeah. Yeah. Saying, if you want to stop poking at us and just come talk, we could just talk. I say in all the different languages. Give me a persuasion check, please. I'm just curious to see how this goes. Um. Or intimidation, if you want to be mean about it. Okay, okay. Dirty twenty. All right, all right. We'll 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 talk later, maybe, maybe. You don't you don't get any uh, response to your to your talk though. Uh, your your call out does not does not give any response. Um, but okay. I will I will keep that that uh, particular result in mind as we go forward. What do you do next? 